Hello, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Professor Dato. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. <laughs> di, di Malaysia hari ini hari cuti umum. Oh, dalam Sebelah, hari apa? Kelahiran uh, Rasulullah Nabi Muhammad. I see. Kita hanya dapat hari Sabtu ya kemarin ya teman-teman tanggal merah untuk Indonesia. Ah, ya sepatutnya hari malam. Iya. Yeah. Ah, tapi diambil cutinya, diganti cutinya hari ini. Oke. Okay. Baik, Prof. Nah, Datuk Nasir, apakah sudah siap? Are you ready ah, to sudah siap. Oke. Okay. Alright. Oke. Okay. Can prepare the PowerPoint first. Oke, okay, you can see the slide. Yes, it's about communication, chapter 9. Uh, yeah, communication. Eh? All right. Oke, okay, Profesor Dato Nasir, uh, you need to continue. Uh, I have the uh, uh, yesterday and uh, uh, one day before yesterday, very busy to me. I have the uh, full uh, full day, uh, today yeah. full day class, eh? starting mm. from 9 until 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. I conduct a class uh, MBA, MBA uh, online uh, with with a China student and with the uh, police, uh, police officer, police on forces, uh, police uh, police forces, uh, police forces got the about the more than 200 uh, officers um, uh, pursue the MBA, MBA. Uh, So I teach uh, all about 11 classes eh, for the uh, two days, for the two days that I enjoy, enjoy, no problem. <laughs> okay, today we uh, uh, lecture about the communication, eh? communication one of the most important in organizational uh, behavior. Uh, that's why we must uh, um, give a full attention to the uh, communication. Eh? Uh, communication and it function eh? communication and it function uh, communication must include both the transfer and understanding of meaning eh? normally uh, people um, doing mistake in communication according to the uh, all theories in in communication communication always fail Communication always fail. Eh? Um, communication only success uh, accidentally. Accidentally. You know why? Because of the uh, um, there are communication between the uh, uh, sender, sender, and they bring the message through the uh, medium and send to the receiver. Uh, that's why. Communication always fail because of sometime wrong uh, wrong channel wrong channel they transfer the message wrong wrong uh, through the wrong channel or the uh, receiver not interested not interested eh? they 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 don't uh, listen carefully they don't like that message eh? that's why uh, several factor must be considered when you have the communication eh? okay because of involved transfer understanding of the meaning understanding of the meaning eh? convey information and ideas uh, imparting meaning you try to the give meaning to your message eh? uh, sometime uh, the uh, receiver uh, receive or translate the, in different meaning eh? and must be understood must be understood That's why uh, people receive uh, uh, tasks from their boss if they don't have the complete information or understand the uh, what type of the task, how to do, eh, what is the outcome uh, uh, interested uh, or, or demand by the uh, bosses, eh? uh, they will, they will uh, give the wrong uh, communication. Eh? Uh, impact impact meaning yeah? 
and must be understood. This is very important. You must understood. If you don't understand, you must question. Asking question to to the sender. Eh? What this uh, message uh, they try to be delivered or transferred. Okay, <laughs> a thought would be uh, would be uh, transmitted so the receiver understood the same mental picture uh, in in the sender intended. That means uh, receiver and uh, and uh, sender have the uh, similar similar mental picture, similar similar understanding. Okay, and uh, for function of communication. Uh, manager behavior, uh, authority hierarchies, and formal guideline for the employee. Uh, that is, uh, you must understand, uh, under understand this, this uh, job description, for example, job description. Job, job description was one of the uh, communication in the organizational communication. You must know um, fully your job description uh, from A to, to Z. Eh? And feedback, clarify what employee must do. Uh, that is task for the uh, for the bosses. Eh? Clif, clif, clarifying what employee must do, how well they are doing, and how can it be improved further. Uh, they they will get feedback, feedback from the uh, employee itself, uh, from the uh, others uh, workers, uh, from the customers. Uh, from the uh, bosses, eh? the feedback is very important. And number three is emotional sharing, uh, sharing of feeling and full fulfillment of social need. Uh, that is, you send a message, you must have a sense of the the uh, emotional uh, in good mood and good emotional. Uh, you must sharing the feeling. Uh, that means if you send the uh, very sad uh, news or message. You must send off the uh, uh, behavioral inset, inset, inset situation, not in happy. Uh, if you try to the, uh, send the happy message, you must be, must be in good emotion and, and uh, good moods. Uh, good moods uh. And number four is persuasion. Persuasion to commit or even break the law. Persuasion. Uh, persuasion. Uh, Persuade to commit, that means uh, obey the orders, uh, do the job, or even break the law. Break the law means you break the rule and regulation, eh? rule and regulation, but you will facing the uh, uh, punishment if you break the law or rule and, and regulation. Eh? And then number five is information exchange. That, that means uh, to facilitate decision making. Uh, you must uh, when you try to make decision making you can use uh, people in uh, several platform uh, you can use in meetings or in indonesia in rapat in meetings or you can use the task force uh, task force eh? and you can uh, use the uh, uh, several uh, group uh, type of decision making eh? uh, but what most important in uh, decision making, you must um, gather all information, gather all information, and try to the uh, uh, form several uh, solution, several solution, eh? and choose the best solution before you make decision making. Decision making. Okay. Okay. This is process of communication. Process of communication, very long process. Yeah? That's why uh, many um, theories say uh, the communication always fail. Yeah? Uh, sender, sender try to the uh, send a message, message to be sent by sender yeah? using the encode, encode, yeah? encode mean what type of message uh, they they try to the to send. Yeah? To send either in the uh, in term of the verbal, in term of the uh, uh, oral, uh, 
uh, or use message mod uh, the, the the organizational message uh, memo or email uh, uh, or telephone eh? uh, that is according message eh? through channel what what the channel they use eh? either they use the uh, direct direct uh, person to person or person to group or they try to the uh, medium of the uh, uh, telephone uh, conferencing uh, or they try to do use the uh, any platform eh? uh, there are a certain barrier there uh, including noise noise or if they try to send message through the uh, internet that is the uh, quality of internet there quality of internet there eh? Uh, and then uh, they send message yeah? message received by the receiver received by receiver and then the uh, receiver uh, must interpret the message uh, a message decoding inter interpret the message if they don't interpret uh, interpret the message uh, that is uh, we call fail eh? uh, another another condition is when the uh, message sent by the sender through the channel the uh, receiver not interested to the message also we consider fail eh? maybe uh, there is wrong time wrong time for the uh, for the send receiver to to receive the message uh, because of he busy with the work or they have uh, something very important that they they, they try to do uh, uh that is a uh, problem from the uh, uh message eh? message eh? they don't understand they don't receive eh? and then if they receive the message then understand the message they will give the feedback to the sender and that means they give feedback uh some um in 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 term of the uh reply or uh, give answers of the message is in in uh, in question they will answer the question uh, or they they send message about the information they will reply they understand the the, the information eh, the information that is the uh, the communication process very difficult uh, we uh, see a very simple but very difficult eh? very difficult because of uh, the barrier of the of the uh, 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 channel uh, the channel uh, you must choose the correct channel you must choose the correct channel uh, in the right time in the right place in the right person okay okay the channel of communication number one channel is formal number two is informal the uh, formal channel part follow the authority change part follow the authority change formal that mean uh, from top to the to the down eh? to the down from the top bosses they will deliver they will send a message to the people under him or under her eh? and then uh, that officer we will um, send a message to their subordinate uh, messages related to the professional activities uh, that is formal consider formal but informal um communi channel communication is spontaneous spontaneous channel from individual choice uh, that is very uh, usually in the uh, in the society yeah? spontaneous messages often personal or social uh, that's what we always receive from the uh, whatsapp yeah? uh, sometimes we don't we don't need to read the whatsapp uh, we ignore or we delete it uh, we you know or we deleted like me i have the more than 300 uh, whatsapp group uh, whatsapp group eh? members of whatsapp group i don't need to de read all the whatsapp group uh, because of some of the uh, message is not important to me only repetition 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 eh? uh, don't bring the uh, much uh, uh, important uh, give important uh, message uh, to to me yeah uh, similar with a student eh? with a student receive message from the lecturer uh, that is very good uh, very important message if you have the uh, whatsapp group for the class eh? 
uh, you must read all uh, message sent sent by the uh, lecturer. Okay? Then you must reply. Okay, direction of communication. Direction of communication. We see this is managers, this is executive, this is employee. Okay? The the sources from the managers, eh? managers, managers to executive. Okay? uh that is uh up, up, upward uh, upward and then manager to employee down downward eh? and then manager to manager that's it lateral that's it lateral uh, so when you uh, when the manager try to uh, uh, send message to the higher executive uh, higher executive eh? communication the flow to higher level keep manager aware of how employee feel about their job co-workers and organization Normally, they will report. They will report to the executive. Executive, eh? uh, the content of the all communication about the uh, job uh, done by coworkers, uh, and then the uh, all report to the uh, uh, executive about the the uh, uh, job description. Eh? Okay. For down, downward, eh, manager to employee, communication that flow from one level to a lower level. That is one way, normally one way, eh, one way communication. Giving assignment uh, goal, give, explain policy, or, or they give the uh, briefing, eh, one way. One way communication. Eh. But number three is lateral, lateral direction eh, uh, between manager and managers. Communication that occur between members of a group or members at the same level in separate work group. Eh? Save time and facilitate coordination. Coordination. Eh? But nowadays eh, in workplace, everybody use the uh, gadget uh, for the communication. Communication. They're meeting also use the gadget. Eh? The gadget. Uh, they use the all platform. Uh, L platform, uh, Google Meet, uh, Zoom, uh, also uh, and the team, uh, the team uh, platform. Uh, that is very easy to communicate uh, anytime, any place, anywhere, uh, anywhere. Uh, uh, that is the uh, new development for the communication now. Communication now. There is no no reason uh, given to the. Uh, other person you don't have time or you you don't have time to the uh, to the communicate or participate in the uh, communication eh? because of you have the all facilities eh? uh, not like before eh? before during my time uh, it's very difficult only use telephone or uh, join together in the meeting or in rapat okay okay what is mode of communication there are three mode of communication Oral, oral, oral. Eh? Use the uh, verbal, verbal. Eh? Uh, and then second is written, uh, using the uh, written, eh? and writing or you type writing. Eh? And the uh, uh, non-verbal, non-verbal. So many uh, type of non-verbal, uh, including the uh, body language, uh, your smile, your face, uh, face expression. Uh, jelingan mata pun sama ya. Uh, and then kedut kedut kening pun sama. Uh, memek muka ya pun sama ya. Uh, oral communication advantage is speed. That is direct from receiver from the sender to receiver. Uh, direct uh, speed, very high speed. Uh, and feedback. Then uh, the sender will get uh, faster get feedback uh, if. The receiver don't give the feedback. They will send the message again and asking again the question. Eh? Uh, the uh, receiver must answer, give the feedback. And simple to correct. Very easy to make a correction. Eh? If you don't understand, you ask what what is the message try to deliver to you. Eh? Uh, but they have the disadvantages. Eh? The potential for distorted message. Distorted in the. Uh, memutarbelitkan message eh? atau me, me, mengaburkan message eh? when pass through a number of people uh, this is we can uh, we can try to the uh, in games eh? 
a 10 of people in one line and uh, give the message give the message to the first person uh, read for example read the message uh, in one piece of paper and the, the first one will will uh, pass to the second person second person uh, melalui uh, bisikan uh, bisikan uh, then second pass to, to 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 third person third to fourth person until the 10 person and and the 10 person when receive the message and check back with the first uh, person uh, the the message uh, what happened the message is totally different uh, between one person to the 10 percent different uh, because because why because of message passed through um, number of people number of people uh, maknanya message itu akan uh, berubah-rubah ikut pemahaman pemahaman kalau dibuat gaya pun gayanya akan berubah-rubah dari mulanya gayanya begini akan akhirnya gayanya pun uh, body language nya akan bertukar ya yeah, bertukar ya yeah. ini selalu dibuat games lah ya huh? we we do it in games huh? written communication uh, any method that convey written word or symbol uh, language is symbol uh, the written uh, written symbol uh, through letters uh, through letters uh, now letters we don't uh, use the poster we don't use the post uh, letters you will send through the email already email or we can send through the whatsapp uh, very very easy now eh? that's why um, so many uh, confidential uh, confidential uh, letters uh, leaking leaking to the public because of so easy to transfer the the, the letter now eh? uh, be careful eh? uh we uh we will uh, ex execute to the uh uh akta akta jenayah huh? then email through email through email uh we can read email uh, through our phone huh? uh, before this we must going to the uh, uh laptop or desktop huh? to open the email now it's very easy you, we can open our email we can send we can receive our uh, email uh, everywhere every place eh? every time okay and then instant messaging instant messaging very easy to reply eh? during the driving also you can reply uh, during the uh, we call it um, uh, cycling also we can reply eh? instant messaging and organizational protocol okay number three is most important communication body language convey uh, the extent of affinity for another uh, the relative perceived status between a sender and receiver sender and receiver uh, meaning change with uh, intonation intonation ni uh, suara uh, suara tu eh? suara tu punya punya nada nada suara intonasi intonation uh, facial expression facial expression kalau kita bersetuju uh, kita mengangguk dan senyum kalau tak setuju kita geleng geleng uh, sekarang ni susah juga kalau kita takut di hati kata geleng tapi kepala kita kata iya uh, biasanya begitu kalau dalam keadaan takut kan terpaksa uh, tapi kita berbohong lah. Uh, kalau di luar kita kata tidak, tapi di dalam hati kata ya. Uh, itu itu boleh lihat daripada muka lah. Physical distance, jarak fizikal, eh, jarak fizikal dan gaya tangan, gaya badan semua ya. Uh, ini bahasa badan, uh, body language ini bahasa badan. I think uh, this uh, non-verbal communication everybody now use it but they don't know that is the uh, body language or that is the uh, non verbal communication non verbal communication eh kalau kita mencebek tu mencebek tak mencebek uh, tengok mulut kita memek muka kita uh, mata kita uh, jelingan mata kalau kita melirik orang kan kalau biasanya 
kalau lelaki lah mau lihat perempuan perempuan yang uh, uh, cewek yang cantik kan dia takut dia akan dia akan jeling saja uh, begitu uh, itu adalah antara uh, non verbal communication eh. okay the channel richness uh, the channel research richness eh. the channel richness okay this is low channel richness uh, low eh. from low to the high from low to the high eh. there are several uh, type of the uh, communication eh. uh, from low uh, channel uh, richness uh, formal report bulletin formal report bulletin eh. you must uh, you must prepare carefully eh. uh, pre-recorded speech eh. online discussion group and group where and live speeches and video conferencing video conferences eh? uh, this is near to the high channel research eh? okay we we look uh, we we look at the formal report bulletin that the memo or letters or report eh? or report uh, pre-recorded speeches uh, electronic mail and the uh, online discussion group group where a voice mail also can the live speeches uh, you can telephone or direct eh? direct live or telephone and then video conferences this is face to face uh, conversation now also we have the online conferences online conferences eh? uh, that mean the real time the real time we in uh, that function eh? uh, during the covid uh, so many uh, seminars and conference done using the uh, the uh, online uh, conference eh, conference eh, that is considered done by the uh, universities and group of the academician okay choosing communication method the channel choice depend on whether the message is routine uh, it's routine or not it's routine or not eh? one oral communication Oral communication that is normal communication, everyday communication, and then try to get the very fast feedback. You use the oral communication, you will get feedback or answers very fast. Number two is written communication, that is take time because of they will reply reply to you also using the written written communication. And non-verbal communication, non-verbal communication, that is the very instant you can know, you can know eh? uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 answers or uh, the feedback. Eh? Non-verbal communication. Use oral communication when gauging uh, gauging the receiver recept uh, receptivity is important. Eh? Uh, but consider the receiver preference what uh, receiver preference eh? they preference the uh, oral communication or not eh? uh, or what they preference they preference is meeting and uh, they preference in briefing they prefer in the uh, face to face eh? uh, pace of work environment and your speaking ability uh, they depend on your your uh, ability to speak eh? to speak uh, and then also depend on the language you understand. Uh, what type of language you understand? The, the language. Eh? If you uh, try to speak with the uh, uh, strangers, uh, you must you must asking the question uh, in the language. Uh, what language the uh, stranger understand? Uh, and, and this is in terms of the psychology communication psychology communication eh? normally in in uh, malaysia and indonesia it's very easy when uh, malaysian try to speak with indonesian they will they will change the uh, language to indonesian to indonesian but when indonesian went to speak to malay they never change the language they still use the indonesian language but the malaysian still understand they understand eh? uh, that is the uh, the example of the uh, choosing oral communication uh, when you're choosing written communication, uh, provide a tangible and variable, uh, verifiable record uh, that can be stored 
for an uh, indefinite period of time. That means you need you need time to the uh, to the uh, uh, send the uh, message to the receiver, and receiver also need time to understand and need time to to uh, compose and answers or, or give feedback to the uh, senders. Eh? Uh, in the indefinite period of time. Eh? Message is physically available for the letter reference. Uh, message is physically available for letter reference when it takes time. Eh? And uh, messages are more likely to be well uh, thought out, logical and clear. Uh, they must understand uh, the message eh? in terms of logic, in terms of clear, in terms of thinking. Eh? And grammar mistake can be uh, problematic. Uh, you must be careful. Don't uh, give uh, uh, wrong spelling, wrong spelling or grammar mistake because of they will carry different meaning. Okay, we will carry different meaning eh? in 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 a uh, communication in written communication, in oral communication also sometimes uh, can confuse confuse of the uh, uh, receiver because of uh dialect or or slang uh between the uh speakers and the and the uh receivers yeah? the receivers for example uh if you visit the australia uh they will they will use the australian slang uh, what die to die what die to die to die is mandai uh, the australia to die is mandai uh, eh? Tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday. Sunday jadi Sunday. Okay. Uh, kita kadang-kadang ingat what die to die ini ingat mati ya. Eh? Mati kan. Die kan. Tapi itulah bahasa dia. Uh, macam kalau if we going to the uh, uh, London. Kota London. Eh? Kota London. Um, kalau dia cakap good morning. Kita cakap good morning biasa. Dia orang, dia orang cakap good morning. Good morning. Lain sikit. Kita good morning. Dia good morning. Uh, okay. Eh? The pronunciation to berbeza, eh? berbeza. Okay, persuasive communication. This is uh, automatic processing. Eh? Uh, superficial consideration of evidence uh, and information making use of heuristic. Eh? Take little time and minimal effort. Effort. Eh? It will take uh, little time and minimal effort. Easy to be full. Uh, easy to be full. Maknanya kita dalam bahaya, eh? dalam bahaya kita dipermainkan. Eh? Uh, control processing, uh, detail consideration of evidence and information relying on the facts, uh, figures and logic. Uh, this control different from the automatic processing. Eh? Um, the, 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 we must have a detail consideration of evidence, bukti-bukti yang jelas dan uh, information yang mengandungi fakta, facts and figures and logic eh? uh, this is require uh, effort and energy effort and energy to understand eh? less likely to be full uh, kurang kita akan uh, rasa di, ditipu atau diperbodohkan eh? <coughs> control and then automatic versus control processing the choice of processing depend on interest level interest level kalau interest tu tinggi dah we have the high receiver have the high level of interest uh, they can they can choose the control control processing prior knowledge uh, if we know already uh, what is uh, trying to the send message to us uh, we we consider as control and a personality a message characteristic important or not important eh? If important, a control processing. Not important is automatic. Eh? Automatic. We can also uh, uh, don't uh, don't uh, take the message or, or ignore the message. Eh? Uh, we can uh, ignore the message if the the message is not interested or not important to us. There are certain barrier uh, to effective communication. Uh, number one, filtering. Filtering. So filtering is tapisan. Tapisan, eh? filtering. How we filtering the, the communication? Eh? Uh, filtering ni maknanya kita kena buat uh, semakkan semula, semakkan eh? to, to determine that 
that message is true or not uh, atau dalam bahasa Arab dipanggil tabayun uh, filtering eh? kita buat tapisan eh? uh, we don't we don't accept uh, we don't accept all these uh, uh, message uh, uh, without the question eh? and then number two selective perception uh, sometimes we have the selective perception eh? we depend on the who send the message if our boss send a message we always accept the message if the somebody we don't know we don't know about him or about her uh, then we we be careful about the uh, message information overload uh, that is so many information try to to send to the receiver the receiver uh, do not know which one is very important very important okay then emotion uh, emotion also barrier uh, if if the sender uh, in the uh, good emotion but the receiver in bad emotion uh, that is the communication uh, not uh, transferred uh, in effect effectively or efficiently yeah? and language must have understand the language and silent silent is nobody knows nobody knows what the message try to the to the answers huh? maybe they use the body language but body language to understand by the by the uh, receiver communication apprehension and lying lying that is the eight of barriers huh? okay culture factors uh, cross culture communication barriers uh, the semantic the semantic is the uh, uh, the slang uh, the slang of the uh, uh, language huh? A word attonation, word connotation, uh, tone differences, different in perception. Uh, that's it, more onto culture, cross cultural communication barrier. In culture context, high contact culture, high contact culture means everything we must refer to our our culture, our culture. We don't uh, we don't uh, simply uh, to deny uh, our culture is very strong. In strong culture, eh? Low contact culture, uh, oh, this is okay. We we don't need to refer to the our culture. Uh, that is in culture contact. That means close culture contact or low uh, culture contact. Uh, in contact of culture. A cultural guide. A cultural guide. Number one, you must know yourself. You must know yourself, uh, and foster a climate of mutual respect. Uh, fairness and democracy democracy this is always uh, we refer to our cultural eh? state facts not your interpretation uh, that is fact uh, that is real facts eh? not based on our interpretation eh? consider the other person point of view uh, you, we must consider other person po point of view or not uh, consider only uh, the sender point of view or speaker's point of view or or writer's point of view uh, you must you must consider on the uh, receiver point of view uh, the uh, the reader uh, uh, point of view uh, and that is very important eh? number five proactively maintain the identity of the group uh, we must maintain the identity of the group eh? the identity of the group we we don't uh, uh, simultaneously or always change the identity of the group. Eh? Uh, the implication for the managers, the communication implication for the managers. Remember that your communication mode will partly determine your communication effectiveness. Uh, what you said, what you said, what you uh, behave eh, in body language. We will uh, will determine the uh, communication effectiveness. Uh, you must seriously uh, when you try to de communicate with the other people. You must give effort and seriously um, send the message. Don't simply the message. Eh? Um, obtain feedback from your employee to make certain your messages are understood. Try to get feedback from the employees. They understand uh, message uh, deliver or send send sending by you or not. Eh? Uh, that is important. Number three, remember that written communication create more misunderstanding than oral communication. 
Uh, we must remember. Written communication uh, create more a misunderstanding because of one-way communication. Uh, if uh, oral communication, we will we will ask again uh, what what uh, does it mean? What is meaning of the message uh, uh, try to send by uh, the uh, upper level to the subordinate, upper level or manager to the subordinate? Okay? Uh, that means the, the written communication always fail. Okay? Uh, make sure you use communication strategy appropriate to your audience. Uh, and type messages you are sending. Uh, that is, you must know how, uh, what is good strategy in communication. Uh, uh, you try to the, uh, send message to the audience, to the, uh, to the audience. Uh, you must attract the audience, um, give the full uh, intention, feel full attention to you, full attention to you when you speak, when you deliver the message, okay? And keep in mind communication barriers such as gender and culture. Uh, that is one of the uh, uh, barrier is the gender, gender and culture. Yeah? Uh, this is the implication for managers for the uh, topic of the uh, communication. Topic of communication. Okay. Okay, uh, we continue to the uh, chapter 10. Eh? You can see the slide there. Everybody, you can, can see the slide? Uh, okay, yes. eh? Boleh, eh? Uh, chapter 10, basic of group behavior. After finish this class, eh? Uh, after finish this chapter, uh, students be able to distinguish between the different type of group, and then uh, be able to describe the punctuated equilibrium model of group development, and uh, show the role requirement change different situation, demonstrate how norm exact equilibrium individual behavior, show status ties, different effect group performance, describe how issue cohesiveness and diversity can be Get the group effectiveness, contrast, strength, weakness, as group decision. Yang ini kita sudah kuliah kan minggu lepas kan? Ingat tak? Ada ingat tak? Yes, Mister, I remember this material. Huh? I'm remember this material. Sudah kuliah kan? Aman dah? Huh? Sudah, bro. Ah, sudah, oke okay, ya. Eh. Jadi tunggu ya, saya upload yang lain.
you can see the slide eh? okay uh this is chapter 11 eh? uh, after finish this chapter you're going to be able to analyze growing popularity a team in organization um and then be able to contrast group and team what is team what is what is group eh? and should you be able to contrast the five type of team arrangement so then uh, can be identified the characteristic of effective team uh, then student can explain how organization can create team players and number six student can decide when to use individual instead of team okay why are teams so popular uh, the question eh? the question why are teams so popular and number one because of increased competition has forces company to restructure to compete more efficiently that's why they use the group of people uh, we call we call team eh? in the uh, achieve the uh, uh, can have the uh, competition more if effect if efficiently with uh, if they try to compete with other organization eh? increase competition uh, teams uh, better utilize employee talent because of team consists of the very talented people selected people to the uh, become a member of the team eh? Uh, team are more flexible and responsive to change yeah? in team in team the base normally the based on the uh, the objective or the agenda of the uh, 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 established of the team yeah? uh, the team can be more lasting or they can uh, close or they can be uh, um, stop the team uh, after uh, the uh, the task of uh, the task is accomplishment or they they, they finish the task eh? uh, are more flexible and re responsive change eh? and a team democratize and motivate uh, they have the uh, very democ democracy everybody can uh, throw the ideas uh, not controlled by one person eh? because of team eh? they have the uh, uh, norm in the team eh? and uh, highly motivate highly motivate if they don't uh, function very well or they don't, don't have motivate they don't contribute they will change eh? they will change with other person uh, uh, to take the more efficient more motivate and more uh, con contribute eh? uh, that is the nature of the uh, team why our team is so popular okay this is a differentiation between group and team what group what group eh, interact primarily to share information and to make decision to have one another perform within each member area of responsibility that is work group um, work team is generate positive uh, synergy through coordinated effort individual effort result in level of performance that is greater than the sum uh, of those individual input that they try to achieve the team uh, objective uh, generate positive synergy uh, where they coordinate effort uh, coordinate effort uh, among the individual uh. sometimes the team uh, rep, uh, the member of team represent represented their their department or their division uh, their division for example in one team have the uh, hr department marketing department uh, and the uh, uh, finance department eh? logistic department and eh? that means they have the specialty uh, in work as a team eh? work as a team okay this is a, a very clear comparison comp comparison between the uh, group and uh, work team eh? work group and work team eh? uh, this is uh, on the left is work group what is a group in terms of goal uh, in terms of goal share information in terms of synergy neutral sometimes negative eh? in terms of the accountability uh, this individual in terms of skill random and varied but in work team work team you know uh, this is you see a uh, work team uh, they separated each other eh? separated each other but in work team they will 
uh, have the very good networking and eh? interact each other interact each other uh, in terms of goal collective performance uh, this this is performance is a work team performance not the individual in terms of goal in terms of synergy very positive very positive in terms of uh, in terms of accountability uh, they uh, have the individual accountability and also mature mature uh, mature support and then in terms of skill complementary complementary not random uh, complementary they must uh, give the full support to their their team their team okay four type of team four type of team we see there four type of team number one is problem solving problem solving the focus on question mark here try to de solve the problem here problem solving uh, problem solving uh, after problem solving success uh, they will dissolve the team but for the self managed team they will they will interact each other uh, have networking each other that's a very good self managed team they will they will uh, works uh, they will works and uh, perform uh, by interacting uh, each other self managed team uh, uh, less of the uh, motivate uh, uh, no, don't need uh, uh, somebody motivate because they have a higher motivation uh, self managed uh, they know where to go from where uh, and where to go and how to go uh, uh, this self managed self managed team a cross functional the cross functional one another good team eh, cross functional from the different section eh, from different section different uh, division uh, different department they in one team eh, or work together work together uh, cross functional and virtual virtual is more and more now more and more exist now uh, using technology yeah people from the jakarta people from the bali people from the kuala lumpur people from the australia people from london people from, from new york eh? we can we can work together as a team but using technology uh, using technology we don't uh, we don't uh, exist uh, meeting physically but we use virtual uh, this is more uh, used by the uh, company or government uh, during the uh, academic uh, during the COVID-19 eh? during COVID-19 eh? three years COVID-19 they use meeting they use uh, team uh, type of team of uh, virtual team eh? virtual team to to uh, to uh, plan or to make decision or they have the uh, several uh, function uh, in in the meetings eh? uh, they use virtual virtual teams eh? virtual teams if compare with the uh, problem solving this is only depend on the problem okay in detail a problem solving team members often uh, from the same department share ideas or suggest improvement rarely given authority to unilaterally implement any of their suggest suggested uh, action and self-managed work team consists of the 10 to 15 employee in highly related job team takes on supervisory responsibility uh, in in work planning and scheduling uh, in assigning tasks in the operating decision action and in working with customers eh? and may select and evaluate members uh, they have the responsibility responsibility to select and evaluate the performance of members and effectiveness independent on the situation uh, in, uh, depend on it in, in the in the situation eh? the, the effectiveness eh? and number three is cross functional team uh, members from same level but uh, diverse areas uh, within and uh, between the uh, organization eh, from from several department eh? uh, exchange information uh, what they have information what they need information they will exchange develop new ideas and solve problem they will develop new ideas based on their experience based on their express perspective eh? and uh, solve the problem and coordinate complex uh, project they will able to coordinate complex project because of they have the 
a certain uh, ability and knowledge yeah, and skill. And uh, development may be time consuming due to complexity and diversity. Uh, maybe uh, to, to, uh, to work uh, uh, very uh, efficient or uh, effectiveness, they need uh, the time because of the constraint of complexity and diversity. Virtual team, uh, this is computer technology times uh, disperse a team together. Uh, uh, managing a virtual team uh, ensure trust is established among members. Uh, monitor progress closely, uh, publicize the effort and product of the team throughout the organization. Uh, okay. And uh, multi team system. A collection of two or more interdependent team that share a superordinate goal. Superordinate goal. Uh, that's a team of the team can be the best choice. Can be the best choice. Uh, this is creating effective team. Uh, this is team effectiveness. Uh, how to measure uh, that is several dimension involved. Uh, dimension one is context, uh, educate resources, leadership and structure climate of trust, performance evaluation and reward system. And in terms of the uh, dimension of composition, ability of members, uh, personality of members, allocating roles, uh, diversity of members, size of team, and members flexibility and members preference. And the dimension number three is process, a common purpose, a specific goal, team efficacy, conflicts level and social loafing uh, that is the three uh, dimension here context uh, composition and process will influence the team effectiveness the team effectiveness this is the uh, the item under the uh, uh, dimension uh, dimension of the creating effectiveness okay to detail uh, to detail uh, uh, contact factor in team success, the uh, present uh, present of educate resources, uh, have effective leadership and structure, have a climax trust in the team, eh? good climax trust eh? in the team, performance evaluation and reward system uh, that reflect team contribution. Team composition and success, uh, ability of members, highly ability, and highly adaptability, uh, personality of members, uh, conscientious, manajer separuh and manajer sedar dalam keadaan sedar, eh? conscientious and open-minded, kira terbuka, and allocation of role, the give role uh, for every members, eh? and diversity of the members, uh, that is uh, the according to the organizational demography, eh? and cultural differences for sure they have the cultural differences. And then uh, size of team depend on the on the uh, objective of the task and the members of preference. Eh? Uh, this is potential team members role. Uh, this is a team. This is team. Uh, then circle. The circle is their their role. Their role. We look one by one. Eh? Uh, one for the linker. The the potential team role the linker. Uh, the purpose is coordinate and integrate. Coordinate members and integrate the members. Creator, uh, the, the role of creator, um, initiate creative ideas. Uh, promoter, become a champion ideas after they are initiated. Assessor, offer insightful analysis of option. Uh, and organizer, they will provide structure. They will provide structure. Producer, uh, provide direction and uh, follow through uh, that is producer controller uh, the role of controller examine examine detail and enforce uh, then enforces rule uh, control eh? examine detail and enforce rule eh? maintainer as a role maintainer fight external battle then then last but not least advisor encourages the search for more information uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine role, uh, role uh, uh, for the potential team members. Okay, team process and success. Uh, team process and success. Uh, 
Okay, we look at the potential growth effectiveness plus process gain, plus process gain, plus process gain. What they get gain is what they get from the process. Again, what they what the benefit they get from the process, what they the gain, what the uh, um, benefit eh, they get from the process. Eh? Potential growth effectiveness plus process gain minus process losses. The process losses. Eh? Uh, equivalent to actual group effectiveness. Uh, that is the actual group effectiveness. Eh? The, the formula, formula of the actual group effectiveness. Potential group effectiveness plus process gains minus process loss. Eh? Team process and structure, uh, they must have common plan and purpose uh, to, to success, the process and success. Common plan and purpose a specific goal uh, they will they will uh, accomplish or achieve the specific goal team efficacy team identity team cohesion mental model mental model and conflict level and social loafing okay turning individual into team player a selection need employees who have the interpersonal as well as technical skill uh, that means the interpersonal interpersonal is very important, eh? similar with the technical skill. Training, workshop, and problem solving, communication, negotiation, conflict management, and coach uh, coaching skill. Uh, that is the training. Training need in the, the uh, player very good in, as a team player. Reward, encourage cooperative effort rather than individual one. You must give. A reward in terms of the team or, or group uh, team, uh, not individual one. Okay, team are not always the answers because of what? Because of complexity of work. Uh, can work be done better by more than one person? Uh, uh, complexity of work. Uh, a common purpose. Does the work create a common purpose or set of goal for the people in the group that is more than ag aggregate of the individual goal? And then interdependent. Are the members of the group interdependent? That is team are not always the answer. That means they prefer to use one person rather than use the team eh, because of this problem. Now, number one, complexity of work, common purpose and interdependent. Okay, we we uh, we uh, reach to the uh, end of the uh, chapters. Uh, the uh, implication of managers. Uh, the the uh, the uh, team uh, effective team have adequate resources. They have adequate resources. Uh, they have the effective leadership, and the good climate of the trust, and. Uh, a good uh, performance uh, evaluation system that reflect team contribution uh, contribution that is the implication for manager number one the second is uh, effective team tend to be small uh, to become a good team make it small make it small uh. effective team have members who believe in the team capabilities uh, are committed to a common plan and purpose and have an accurate share a mental model what is to be accomplished yeah? uh, that mean uh, effective member effective team have members who believe team capabilities they must uh, believe that have the team capabilities yeah? and committed and common plan purpose and select individual who have a interpersonal skill to be effective team players that is the uh, the criteria eh? Uh, select individual who have the interpersonal skill to be effective team players. Provide training to develop teamwork school. They must have the uh, special training to uh, to develop teamwork skill and reward individual for the cooperative uh, cooperative uh, effort. Uh, reward individual for the creative effort. Okay? And then last, do not assume that team always needed. Uh, Sometimes uh, team not needed. You can. Uh, use the individual okay uh, up to you you want to continue to the chapter to next chapter or
uh, open the question. Uh, open the question answer, Mister. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can ask. Okay, guys. Uh, it's time for you to prepare about your question. We have two. Uh, topic for today is about uh, communication and also teamwork. Yeah, I I think that you already got the uh, lesson about these two. And if you still remember, you join in event management. I'm sure that this is related with this <laughs> with the lesson. Yeah. Nah, siapa yang mau bertanya silahkan. You can raise hand or you can uh, chat room. But I will give opportunity for person who raise hand first. Teman? Ini sepertinya masih berpikir ini Prof Dato. Wow, hmm. yeah, we have Fitri Nur Handayani. Please, Mbak Fitri. Okay, thank you, Miss. I want to ask about how to have optimal team in virtual type. Thank you. Okay, how to have optimal team? Yes, Prof. In virtual type. Into? Bagaimana? Bagaimana mengoptimalkan, mengoptimalkan tim yang virtual? Tadi kan ada virtual team. Uh. Fitri, tolong tolong jelaskan balik soalan itu. Jadi gini, Prof, untuk yang virtual tim tadi kan tidak bertemu. Nah, jadi bagaimana cara mengoptimalkannya? Oh, dalam virtual, 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 virtual team, eh? Ya, yeah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Virtual team, eh? Virtual team is the uh, most... Uh, Mostly the new uh, team, the new team exists now. Eh? Um, uh, to many uh, organization, many company use this uh, this type of the team because of they uh, have the uh, uh, we call it um, a constraint of the uh, time, constraint of the budget. Eh? uh because of they don't need to the uh, uh, meeting at one place that mean they was they can uh, meeting uh, online then sit yeah uh, 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 directly meeting uh, uh, from their place uh, from their place that is very good yeah? that means the uh, uh, to become effective uh, uh, number one they must uh, determine uh, they must determine or try to decide uh, the proper rule, the proper rule. Number one, uh, everybody must uh, contrib con contribute to the ideas, eh? contribute to the ideas, um, not become a passenger, they must uh, contribute. Number two, uh, they have the uh, st stability of the uh, internet, eh? stability of the internet. Okay, and the uh, clear, uh, their voice is clear also. Eh? And then most importantly, they have the objective. What the objective of this uh, virtual? Uh, number one, they must have the uh, very uh, a clear objective. Not put together more objective, maybe a few objective uh, for, for, the, uh, for the meeting, eh? for the meeting of the team. And then after uh, accomplish, uh, they will they will uh, put another objective, not put together all many objective in the one time, in one time, eh? in one time. Uh, that is very good. And then uh, in the process of team, they must have the very good uh, question and answers, question and answers, and give the their perspective, give the explanation. Eh? That's very good. Eh? It's very good. Uh, that is the always practiced by the uh, many many um, uh, company now uh, company now uh, especially for the uh, multinational corporation uh, they don't need send to the people to go to the one place and and involve in the traveling involve uh, involve on the time you know 
uh, that's very uh, very easy and then they can make uh, frequent frequently meeting not one time frequently meeting uh, uh, maybe at one week they will uh, make the one or two time uh, for a meeting uh, uh, if the uh, they meet together uh, face to face uh, they don't have the uh, uh, more time eh? that is very limited time uh, that is the the uh, strategy to make the very optimum uh, benefit for the uh, virtual meeting okay like our class today eh? uh, this is virtual virtual meeting you know so everybody must open the uh, the uh, the uh, the video huh? If you don't shy, then you put your name there and you sleep. You 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 go somewhere. We don't know, but if in the uh, like the conference, uh, uh, everybody uh, show their face. Uh, uh, but in the uh, in the team, with your team, they must surely they must show their face. Uh, if you don't show the face, uh, uh, the uh, upper level manager. Uh, the higher authority will call call him or call her. Why you don't show your face? Ah, uh, something like that. Okay. Any question? Okay, we have question on the Can chat room. All right, I will read it. This is question from Dini Lestari. Dini Dwi Lestari. Salah satu faktor kesuksesan tim yaitu building trust. How we can build trust in in a team in a teamwork bagaimana cara membangun iklim kepercayaan dalam suatu tim prof yes dalam tim number one they have the uh, norm they set the norm norm or the rule the rule uh, all matters discussed in the team only within within the the team within the team not uh, will disclose with other person the other person uh, that is uh, where the trust is built if you don't trust people you don't say anything you don't contribute anything but when you have the uh, rule and regulation uh, everything you you uh, mention in class this uh, you mention in team you discuss in team that is the uh, pnc private and confidential only for the purpose of the team not disclose the other person out of the team uh, that is trust uh, trust is very important eh? trust is very important because of if you don't uh, if you break the trust people not uh, telling the truth not contribute not uh, give a cooperation fully 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 cooperation to the uh, to the team uh, that is team is uh, the trust is very important in the uh, success of of the team success of the team eh? rahsia rahsia kita macam rahsia kongsi gelap lah kongsi gelap dia dia apa dia cecah darah ataupun minum darah uh, di Malaysia tu kongsi gelap dia dia bikin macam tu perjanjian dia minum darah kalau dia pecah rahsia mati uh, gitu tapi dalam organisation tak ada lah organisation maknanya if you don't uh, you break the trust you will you will suffer uh, maybe um, you don't get uh, benefit from the from the team from the team okay 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 uh, the next question from Radita Novi Ariani recently there is a video that is being talked a lot about senior response regarding interns who often ask questions and ask to be mentor. There are some seniors who are not happy and even bothered by the intern who often ask and ask for help. There are even senior who are favoritism based on the intern physique. This creates about uh, fear, communication, and how to understand about this. Jadi ini kalau ada anak magang gitu, Prof. Kemudian ada diskriminasi seperti itu ya. Senior merasa tidak suka untuk anak magang selalu bertanya terus seperti itu. Jadi bagaimana uh, cara untuk berkomunikasi yang baik 
kepada senior ketika kita magang begitu Prof. Normally, normally uh, this case uh, uh, always happen, uh, always happen because of some of boss, uh, they don't, they don't believe, they don't believe, uh, they don't, they, they don't want to be somebody uh, clever from him, from or from her, they don't respect another, another people uh, have the very good ideas, uh. that is we will destroy the the organization, you know. Uh, whatever uh, suggestion, whatever question from our subordinate, uh, that is very good. Consider of the chance, uh, chance to the, uh, the 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 manager itself to improve the uh, the, the organization. Yeah, uh, this this is not happen in the uh, Japanese uh, Japanese uh, company. Japanese company always encourage their subordinate. To the give ideas through the suggestion, eh? uh, then give the the uh, prize, uh, give prize to the to the uh, to the uh, people, uh, give the ideas, uh, either the good ideas or bad ideas. Eh? But normally, in the uh, our culture, Eastern culture, uh, happen like this. That means you not the boss, I'm the boss. You must obey my orders. You don't. Uh, simply throw your ideas in the meeting. No, that is you. We must change the culture. You must change the culture. But everybody have the good ideas. Huh? You must consider the ideas. We can uh, we can uh, uh, assume that is very good uh, workers because they very brave to to uh, uh, throw the ideas. Uh, throw the ideas. If you. Uh, have the uh, certain uh, restriction. Eh? You don't want everybody to throw the ideas. Uh, that means the, organi the organization uh, cannot uh, perform very well because of everybody uh, frightened to the, uh, give the ideas. Eh? Uh, must have the uh, culture change. Culture change. You must change the work culture in that organization. Don't to uh, Close culture contact. This is all always happen in uh, those country um, uh, practice close culture contact. That means they uh, refer to the culture, refer to the higher authority uh, before to the uh, speak up or throw the to uh, throw the ideas. Eh? If we compare with uh, lower culture contact con with the uh, for example Western people, they have the confidently. Uh, to uh, asking to throw the ideas eh, to the organization because of individualistic is very important rather than the the, the group eh, the group so uh, that means we uh, try to change the culture eh, change the culture because of if if you have the multi uh, racial multi cultural employee uh, we must have the another new uh, uh, good uh, work culture rather than uh using the one culture only very okay. uh, radita right. radita novi uh, your question very long eh? <laughs> all right i want to ask mbak risha jenia mungkin bisa langsung saja ya Sa open camera silahkan uh, bicara langsung mbak risha jenia silahkan uh, oke okay. terima kasih miss jusno mm -hmm. prof saya izin bertanya Uh, dalam work groups dan work teams tadi kan ada perbedaan di antara keduanya salah satunya adalah sinergi di mana uh, work teams memiliki sinergi positif sementara work groups memiliki sinergi yang netral terkadang negatif lalu apa yang dimaksud dengan sinergi yang netral dalam work groups tersebut dan bagaimana contohnya dalam perusahaan terima kasih prof uh, that is normal eh? that is normal in group eh? Uh, in team, eh? they have some uh, some uh, personality, some personality. They don't uh, put a good synergy in the uh, in the working as a team. Eh? They uh, always have the uh, ego. Uh, they eat ego, super ego. Ego is very good, but super ego, super ego is not good. Huh? Uh, super ego is not good in in psychology because of they assume. Uh, everything from others is not good, uh, and then they don't trust people. Uh, that means 
um, they must the team must change uh, that person with another person eh, with have the good synergy uh, give the uh, cooperation with them eh? you don't you don't you don't uh, maintain the, the 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 people have the uh, negative synergy in your in your organization eh? in in your in your team uh, that is how to solve eh? how to solve because of uh, that people uh, very difficult to change their personality they assume they are the best in the team uh, they always want to the uh, conquer the team conquer the team they always not satisfied with the team members what for we keep them uh, still in the team better you change to put another uh, individual individual or person have the similar uh, skill uh, similar knowledge uh, in your team and uh, let them go uh, if they have the uh, negative uh, negative uh, natural negative uh, synergy because of we uh, the the team will uh, wasting time uh, wasting time to solve the problem within the uh, the group of the uh, have the positive energy and ne negative uh, positive synergy and negative synergy eh uh, arisha uh, that is the, uh, the 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 uh, the task of the role of the uh, head of the team eh? or, or we call it the lead leader in the team eh? they must identify they must identify in the team uh, people must have the uh, uh, positive synergy and the positive attitude uh, and give a full cooperation in their team Arisha. All right, thank you, Prof. Okay, next question. We have Lisa Nuraini. Mbak Lisa Nuraini, can you open your camera? Okay, you may to open your microphone too, Mbak Lisa Nuraini. Sebentar, Miss. Yeah. Lisa. Ya, udah bisa. Oke, izin bertanya ya, Prof. Apakah kualitas suatu komunikasi dapat diukur dari durasi atau panjangnya cara penyampaian untuk mendapatkan kualitas dalam komunikasi tersebut? Selanjutnya, menjadi manajer tentunya akan menghadapi banyak sekali karakteristik, karakteristik dari karyawannya. Ada yang pasif dan ada yang aktif. Kemudian bagaimana cara manajer atau pimpinan bisa mengatasi komunikasi dari karyawan-karyawannya? Terima kasih. Oke, okay. uh, terima kasih. Soalan yang bagus nih, Lisa. Ini um, kualitas sesuatu komunikasi ini bukan diukur daripada panjang atau pendeknya penyampaian itu. Uh, kualitas diukur daripada uh, acceptance ataupun pemahaman uh, receiver atau audience tentang apa yang disampaikan. Apa yang disampaikan. Jadi uh, that is useless lah. Apa gunanya kita sampai panjang-panjang tapi orang tak faham. Tapi straight to the point and then uh, make it easy to the uh, receiver atau audience memahami apa yang nak disampaikan. Yang penting, the content uh, di, disampaikan oleh uh, sender dan uh, receiver atau audience menerimanya. menerimanya. Eh? Jadi selalunya Karyawan-karyawan ini tidak paham sebab penekanan kepada konten itu tidak jelas. Yang disampaikan tapi konten tidak jelas, aturannya tidak jelas. Ini yang kadang-kadang komunikasi itu gagal. Komunikasi gagal dan apa yang dihajati oleh pihak atasan, manager itu tidak dipahami oleh subordinat atau kerajaan bawahan dia menyampaikan dalam bentuk general bukan spesifik bukan dengan jelas menyukarkan kabur begitu kabur maknanya tidak tidak pasti ya tidak pasti jadi mestilah dinyatakan dengan fakta dengan ringkas brief brief fakta dan jelas dan jelas ini boleh ditunjukkan daripada usaha Manager itu menyampaikannya, menyampaikannya dengan bentuk uh, motivasi ingin me me membuatkan orang paham, eh, orang paham. Bukan menyampaikannya sambil lewa, 
sambil melewa ya bila menyampaikannya dengan tidak uh, bersungguh-sungguh jadi uh, pihak uh, audien ataupun receiver pun tidak memahami dengan bersungguh-sungguh kena bersungguh-sungguh lah sebab uh, kita boleh tanya kembali apakah uh, yang disampaikan itu dipahami ataupun ditanyakan apakah uh, anda faham tentang apa yang disampaikan uh, boleh ditanyakan soalan semula jangan jangan disampaikan saja tanpa pertanyaan tanpa cek balik Ha, itu mungkin yang boleh menjawab soalan Lisa. Terima kasih Lisa. Terima kasih Prof. That's really good question and we have another question from Nur Syamsiah Pratami. Oke, okay, Mbak Nur Syamsiah, please open your cam and uh, your microphone. Oke, okay, baik. Terima kasih Miss. Uh, jadi Prof saya bertanya, izin bertanya. Jadi kan tadi disebutkan bahwa e, salah satu fungsi dari komunikasi itu adalah pertukar informasi. Nah, kemudian bagaimana cara membangun komunikasi yang efektif di di tim di tengah orang-orang yang pasif? Ya. Jadi kan nantinya tuh kalau ya. di tim yang pasif tuh pertukar informasinya kurang ya, Cok? Ya. Orang-orang uh, yang pasif ini biasanya perlukan uh, motivasi motivasi untuk uh, apa itu membina keyakinan diri orang yang, orang yang pasif ini biasanya kurang keyakinan diri satu eh kurang keyakinan diri rasa gentar rasa apabila uh, dia apa ini tidak uh, membalas uh, komunikasi itu um, dia rasa membalasnya dengan yang salah eh, dengan yang salah. So sebab apa komunikasi ini antara perhubungan antara dua pihak antara sender dengan receiver. Uh, antara orang yang menghantar dengan yang menerima melalui channel uh, channel. Jadi tidak akan ada pertukaran apabila penghantar menghantar kepada penerima, penerima uh, pasif tidak menjawab. Uh, ini menyebabkan tadi uh, komunikasi gagal. Komunikasi gagal. Tetapi uh, pihak penerima tadi mesti melihat halangan-halangan uh, komunikasi tadi. Dia mungkin pasif, bukan apa. Dia tidak faham sebab apa ada halangan dari segi uh, noisy, kebisingan ataupun kesesuaian tempat, tidak kena pada tempat ataupun ada masalah-masalah yang lain. Eh. Jadi kena pasti. Biasanya uh, di dalam uh, Komunikasi orang atasan dengan bawahan ni, orang bawahan ni akan uh, cepat uh, menunjukkan rasa hormat dan uh, cuba memahami apakah ini komunikasi, ini komunikasi yang yang disampaikan oleh pihak manager atau atasan ini tadi. Jadi uh, pihak yang memberikan komunikasi, yang memulakan komunikasi tadi, pihak manager dia mesti mencari solusi. Apa kehalangan menyebabkan uh, pihak bawahan ini tadi pasif? Eh? Pihak bawahan tadi pasif. Uh, mungkin ada masalah-masalah orang bawahan ini pasif. Mungkin ada berlaku ketidakadilan, berlaku uh, kita adilan dari segi ganjaran, reward ataupun pilih kasih. Jadi tanggungjawab, tanggungjawab manager, tanggungjawab manager membangunkan karyawan di bawah mereka supaya mereka menjadi lebih responsif lebih responsif eh? sebab biasanya pegawai-pegawai ataupun kena bawahan ni karyawan bawahan ni akan akan memenuhi kena-kena atasan uh, jarang sekali kalau mereka uh, protes uh, dengan pasif tidak uh, memberikan tindak balas yang sewajarnya ya eh? jadi tanggungjawab tadi kita letakkan kepada pihak atasan. Bagaimana dia motivasi? Motivasi balik. Kalau kurang latihan, dia akan berikan latihan. Ha, kalau di turang kemahiran, berikan latihan. Ha, berikan latihan di tempat kerja. Ha, begitu. Jangan buat andaian, dia pasif, dia useless. Ha, dia tak berguna. Tidak. Sebab uh, kita jangan lupa, bila kita rekrut orang, kita pilih dia di antara yang terbaik. Maknanya kita pilih Mr. Right. Kalau lelaki Mr. Right, kalau perempuan Miss Right. We we appoint them, we put in the uh, in the certain in the right place, in the right time, 
ha, eh? Kita letakkan dia di tempat yang betul Jadi kalau dia tak betul itu kemungkinan uh, ada masalah lain Bukan masalah pemilihan Masalah pemilihan, masalah personality atau masalah-masalah lain Jangan kita uh, cepat uh, memberikan hukuman Kita nampak dia tidak defensif uh, Dia ni uh, useless tidak berguna Tidak, dia adalah Mr. Right dan Miss Right Yang perlu dihargai Mungkin tidak sesuai di satu jabatan uh, di, di satu pejabat, dia boleh dipindahkan di pejabat yang lain uh, Tapi biasanya yang baru-baru, eh, ketangan baru-baru, dia rasa malu ataupun dia ada rasa tekanan dari orang yang senior. Kadang-kadang eh. orang senior mempengaruhi dari segi budaya kerja di situ. Eh. Kamu jangan buat apa-apa, jangan respon ikut saja macam aku. Aku dulu macam tu juga lah, jadi ikut macam aku. Gitu. Jadi pengaruh-pengaruh persekitaran pun perlu diambil kira oleh pihak manajer. Lah. Okey. Okey, baik. Terima kasih, Fro. Okey, thank you. The next question from Wardo Imrona. Wardo Imrona, you may open your camera and your microphone. Baik, terima kasih untuk waktunya. Saya izin bertanya. Uh, pertanyaannya, dengan adanya tim di dalam sebuah perusahaan, apakah akan menjamin sebuah pekerjaan yang dihasilkan akan menjadi lebih baik daripada dikerjakan perorangan? Karena sebuah tim tidak semua orang bisa diajak kerjasama atau terkadang malah adanya penghambat sehingga pekerjaan menjadi tertunda. Terima kasih. Ya, dalam persoalan ini ya, uh, satu pekerjaan yang nak dihasilkan itu, uh, satu tugasan itu. Tidak mestinya di, dikerjakan secara tim. Saya tim saya kata tadi. Ada yang boleh dikerjakan secara perseorangan. Sebab bila dikerjakan secara tim atau secara grup tadi, kemungkinan uh, tidak kesesuaian bersesuaian antara individu. Antara individu. Eh. Uh, itu yang jadi penghambat tadi. Uh, tapi kita lihat kesesuaiannya. Hanya yang uh, memerlukan di, 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 di apa diselesaikan secara tim kita buat tim kalau tak perlu tim kita buat persorangan maknanya individu itu ada kemahirannya segala kemahiran ada kepayahan ada ada ilmunya untuk melaksanakan pekerjaan itu tetapi kalau kita rasakan seseorang bila dilakukan seorang tidak begitu cekap perlu dibentuk tim dari pelbagai latar belakang ilmu kemahiran jadi kita kita buatlah satu tim eh kalau tak sesuai tidak buat maknanya bukan semua pekerjaan itu perlukan dilakukan tim tim eh dia dia mesti bersesuaianlah dengan latar belakangnya okey Imrona baik terima kasih prof sama Next. Okay, the next from Jatia Linda Hardianingsi. Mbak Jatia. Ya, Miss. Uh, terima kasih atas waktunya, Miss. Saya izin bertanya uh -huh. uh, mengenai masalah komunikasi yang sering terjadi di tempat kerja ataupun uh, dalam organisasi itu sering berpotensi atau berujung pada sebuah konflik. Nah, misalnya itu uh, masalah personal kurang mampu mendengarkan dan salah persepsi. Nah, mungkin dari tiga hal itu terlihat sepele ya. E, namun jika di, tidak diperhatikan atau tidak diatasi, maka bisa menimbulkan masalah di dalam tim. Nah, pertanyaan saya itu e, bagaimana semua itu dapat menimbulkan konflik, lalu bagaimana cara untuk mengatasi hal tersebut. Terima kasih, Prof. Uh, terima kasih, uh, Jadi ya. Uh, biasanya uh... Tim yang dipilih ini, tim yang dipilih di dalam apa tu melaksanakan tugas ini mereka yang ada personality yang baik-baik, yang baik-baik, ada talents yang baik-baik yang telah dipilih. Begitu juga dengan semua karyawan yang dipilih itu adalah yang terbaik di antara yang terbaik yang telah terpilih, yang telah terpilih. Jadi kalau berlaku masalah komunikasi itu, itu perkara biasa ya. Komunikasi ini berlaku sebab banyak faktor. 
kadang-kadang sebab uh, tidak difahami ya eh, tidak difahami uh, apakah tujuan komunikasi itu apakah tujuan komunikasi itu ya yang kedua kemungkinan uh, komunikasi ini uh, menunjukkan masalah sebab kesesuaiannya disampaikan tidak begitu uh, sesuai ya eh. tidak sesuai jadi kalau ada dua komunikasi ya satu komunikasi interpersonal satu intrapersonal kalau dia ada masalah komunikasi intrapersonal maknanya komunikasi dalam diri sendiri diri sendiri pun bertelagah ada masalah sudah tentu dia ada masalah komunikasi interpersonal interpersonal dengan orang lain eh? dan bila ada komunikasi interpersonal dengan orang lain dia akan mempengaruhi orang lain dalam grup untuk ada masalah intergroup komunikasi intergroup pula ada benda lain mempengaruhi ya mengaruhi ya jadi biasanya uh, di dalam sesuatu uh, uh, tim uh, biasanya mereka akan ada persamaan persamaan dari segi objektif dari segi personality dari segi uh, kualiti kemahiran dia akan ada sama. Jika kita letakkan orang yang tidak sama di dalam satu tim yang yang satu tim dia akan berlaku masalah. Berlaku masalah. Jadi biasanya sebelum tim itu ditubuhkan atau tim tim itu mulakan fungsinya mereka akan settlekan ataupun selesaikan masalah-masalah perbezaan pendapat perbezaan tim perbezaan personality dulu. Jadi ditempatkan dipilih orang yang betul-betul boleh contribute, boleh menyumbang. Eh? Jadi kalau tak boleh menyumbang, banyak masalah dia boleh nak menyumbang, dia akan di dipinggirkan dulu sementara waktu, mata waktu ya. Eh? Sebab dia akan menimbulkan banyak konflik lagi bukan untuk menyelesaikan masalah. Eh? Jadi kemampuan komunikasi ini boleh diatasi dengan cara bagi latihan. Bagi latihan Komunikasi ini bukannya benda yang uh, datang daripada kelahiran, keturunan tidak. Dia boleh dilatih, dia boleh dilatih. Kita boleh train mereka. Eh? Uh, jadi macam mana nak bercakap, macam mana nak menyampaikan hujah, uh, jangan uh, very sensitive terhadap individu, pun semua. Jadi benda-benda ini boleh diasah, uh, boleh diperbaiki, eh? boleh diperbaiki. Sebab di dalam komunikasi dalam organisasi yang penting adalah communication. Komunikasi. Salah satu komunikasi dalam organisasi adalah komunikasi organisasi, organizational communication. Bagaimana kita berhubung dalam organisasi? Dan ada pecahan-pecahan lain, ya, seperti human communication, komunikasi manusia, komunikasi manusia lain dengan komunikasi binatang. Jadi manusia ini kita kena lihat bahawa apa yang mereka mau, apa yang mereka tak mau. Ini komunikasi tingkah laku, behavioral, behavioral communication, group communication. Jadi banyak cabang-cabang komunikasi ini, komunikasi psikologi, pakai psikologi juga. Jadi kalau nak berkomunikasi, fikir dulu sebelum bercakap. Bukan semua yang kita cakap itu enak didengar oleh orang lain atau bagus bagi orang lain. Ah ini dari segi psikologi, psikologi ya. Jadi tak silap saya dulu masa saya mengambil uh, uh, magister, eh? masters, eh? uh, magister saya hafal lebih kurang 500 teori-teori komunikasi. 500 bukan 50 ya. Ha, kemudian saya peringkat uh, S3, uh, saya tambah lagi 500. Jadi uh, seribu teori tentang banyak teori-teori komunikasi ini. Eh? Teori-teori komunikasi ini. Kalau gagal komunikasi akan gagal lah segala-galanya. Komunikasi yang amat penting. Eh? Komunikasi adalah menjamin keutuhan suatu perhubungan antara perorangan. Uh, jadi kestabilan emosi kita pun kalau intra communication, uh, jadi akan menjaga kesihatan mental, mental health kita, mental health kita. Jadi kita, kita tidak bahagia dengan diri kita sendiri. Bagaimana kita nak bahagiakan, membahagiakan orang lain bersama orang lain? Ya? Jadi yang penting. Bila kita bersama dengan orang, kita perlu berkomunikasi. Tidak ada guna kita duduk berdua, diam saja. Tak perlu komunikasi. Macam saya. Saya 
Kalau suatu hari saya tidak bercakap seribu patah perkataan itu bukan saya. Saya hari-hari kena bercakap. Orang dengar, tak dengar, saya cakap. Sebab apa? Saya mau keluarkan apa yang ada dalam diri saya. Kadang-kadang saya dimarahi oleh isteri saya. Kalau nak bercakap, pergi di, di kuliah, jangan di sini. Sebab apa? Kita sudah biasa ya. Sudah biasa bercakap, bercakap, bercakap. Eh? Ada diberikan ilmu, kita bercakap. Itulah maknanya dalam tim ini perlu diselesaikan dulu. Eh? Selesaikan dulu, perlu ada rule and regulation, ada norm, ada peraturan dia. Jadi sudah tentu masing-masing faham. Bila masing-masing faham, masing-masing akan contribute. Okey, Jatia. Okey, Prof. Terima kasih, Prof. Okey. Sepele itu apa, Jatia? Sepele itu apa? Sepele itu hal yang mungkin tidak dianggap uh, penting bagi orang lain, tapi sebenarnya itu penting. Ini Jawa ya? Ya, tapi Jawa. sering digunakan in bahasa juga. Ah, saya, ya, uh, nenek saya Jawa tapi saya tak pernah jumpa ini. <laughs> baik, baik. Next question from Milanda Octavia. Silahkan Milanda. Ya, tes mikrofonnya Mbak. Bisa nggak? Ini suara saya sudah dapat diakses belum ini? Ya, cuman lebih keras ya Mbak Milanda. Pelan soalnya. Baik, saya ingin bertanya. Tadi dikatakan bahwa tim yang baik itu tim yang memiliki sumber daya yang berkualitas. Lalu bagaimana agar seorang manajer itu dapat memastikan bahwa sumber daya tersebut itu berkualitas sehingga seorang manajer itu dapat mengendalikan tim? untuk dapat bekerja secara efektif, memiliki problem solving yang baik, dan evaluasi seperti apa yang dapat dilakukan oleh seorang manajer tersebut. Oke, okay, Mbak Linda. Soalan yang bagus ini. Jadi, uh, memang betul lah. Sumber daya yang berkualitas ini memang uh, satu uh, keperluan di dalam tim. Lah, dalam tim. Uh, sudah tentu mereka ada... Uh, senarai ataupun rekod-rekod ataupun maklumat-maklumat uh, siapakah yang uh, sumber daya yang berkualitas ini yang berkualitas ini uh, jadi manager mestilah uh, apa tu memilih mereka yang mempunyai kualiti yang baik eh, baik uh, sehingga uh, fungsi uh, uh, tim ini boleh berjalan dengan baik dan mencapai matlamatnya mentelamatnya ya. Uh, ada beberapa ciri-ciri yang yang dikendaki di dalam tim eh. uh, itu yang perlu uh, matching ataupun sama dengan uh, apa yang ada di dalam kualiti uh, uh, team members itu. Uh, ya. Kita bukannya sembrono memilih orang masuk tim uh, without uh, knowing dia punya Uh, speciality apa itu kemahiran skill dia ya uh, jadi mestilah um, untuk mendapatkan keahlian tim yang yang baik dia mesti pemilihan searching committee uh, tim yang memilih itu mesti ditubuhkan untuk mengenal pasti to identify who uh, become the good team members good team members eh? kita sudah pilih tadi uh, untuk untuk menjadi karyawan eh? Uh, pilih Mr. Right dan Miss Right. Tetapi untuk tim juga, kita mesti ada searching committee. Uh, datang kuasa pemilih. Uh, apakah kriteria yang nak kita pilih? Apakah jenis uh, members yang ada kemahiran yang nak kita pilih? Uh, mesti ada kriteria itu. Uh, dia bukan simply kita buat group saja. Eh. Dia mesti ada. Mesti ada kriteria-kriteria uh, dan individu-individu atau karyawan di dalam tim yang nak dipilih itu mesti ada karya kriteria itu. Ya? Sudah tentu ini akan memudahkan untuk kerja-kerja performing of the task of the team. Memiliki problem solving yang baik, itu memang bagus. Tetapi itu mungkin dia ada satu saja ideas, tapi bila dia ramai-ramai itu, in term of creativity, 
in terms of innovation, in terms of the level of thinking, yeah, uh, dia akan punya uh, level of thinking yang tinggi, high level thinker. Uh, yang jarang kita ambil orang yang punya high level, uh, low level thinker. Dia masuk dalam kumpulan dia tak tahu fikir apa apa. Uh, kita cari yang high level thinker, yang pemikir, yang pemikir, yang kreatif. Okay, Malinda. Okay, the next question is from Amanda, but I think the question is almost the same with the question before. Uh, she asks about what effort can be made by leader to build good and effective communication between employees and leader. Ya, yeah? hampir sama dengan yang tadi. Okay, untuk selanjutnya berarti uh, beralih ke Amatullah Hasna. Amatullah Hasna. Iya, yeah, Miss. Okay, silakan. Baik, terima kasih, Miss. Uh, saya izin bertanya, Prof, bagaimana suatu channel itu dapat dikatakan sebagai high channel richness? Dan bagaimana channel richness itu sendiri mempengaruhi sikap individu atas perilaku sharing knowledge? Terima kasih, Prof. Uh, ulang balik, ya. Eh. Amatullah. Baik, Prof. Oh, ah, ya. Bagaimana suatu channel itu dapat dikatakan sebagai high channel richness dan bagaimana channel richness itu sendiri mempengaruhi sikap individu atas perilaku sharing knowledge? Terima kasih. Uh, channel richness ini adalah satu uh, channel, eh? adalah satu channel yang yang terbaik di, boleh digunakan oleh uh, seseorang individu, eh? seseorang individu. Uh, kalau uh, channel yang dipilih itu bersesuaian, dirasakan terbaik, uh, jadi uh, dia akan uh, menyampaikan uh, komunikasi itu dengan berkesan. Tetapi kalau channel uh, richness itu yang tidak baik, yang tidak sesuai untuk uh, receiver, uh, receiver, walaupun sesuai untuk sender, tapi tidak sesuai untuk receiver, jadi dia akan uh, distorted, dia akan mengganggu uh, penyampaian message itu message itu jadi uh, pemilihan sesuatu uh, channel uh, yang baik itu uh, adalah amat penting ya. adalah amat penting supaya uh, message yang kita sampaikan itu dapat diterima dengan jelas dan dipahami uh, ini kalau kita salah pilih message dia akan menjadi sia-sia akan gagal uh, amatullah uh, cantik nama ini amatullah hasna Baik, Prof. Terima kasih, Prof. Alright, thank you, Mbak Hasna. The next from Rabi Atul Maulidia. Mbak Rabi Atul Maulidia. Baik, Miss. Terima kasih untuk waktunya. Prof, izin bertanya. Uh, untuk mengenai works team and works group, keduanya pasti mempunyai kinerja positif atau yang netral dan negatif. Lalu bagaimana jika jadinya keduanya digabungkan atau bekerja sama, apa pengaruh yang akan didapat? Oh, terima kasih. Uh, work team, eh? uh, mengenai work team dan work group, keduanya pasti mempunyai kerja positif negatif. Bagaimana jadinya jika keduanya digabungkan atau bekerja sama? Dia begini, um, dia dia nampak seperti sama, eh? work team dan work group, eh? work team dan group. Uh, work group ni dia di dalam organisasi di dalam organisasi saja work group ni ya eh, dalam organisasi dalam uh, satu uh, ruang kerja yang kecil dalam satu departemen atau dua tiga departemen tetapi work team ini dia boleh lagi besar tasnya lagi besar tasnya lagi besar jadi uh, boleh digabungkan tapi uh, objektif penubuhan tadi berbeda berbeda eh sebab tim ini betul-betul kena cari orang yang betul-betul boleh menyumbang kepada kejayaan tim pasukan tadi. Kalau work group tadi dia boleh saja tidak mempunyai kualiti yang baik tetapi boleh menyumbang idea atau berbincang bersama-sama bersama-sama. Jadi sebab itu dibezakan antara work group dengan work team. Work group dan work team. Uh, macam uh, saya buat kajian ya dalam uh, 
PhD uh, S3 saya di syarikat Jepang eh, syarikat Jepang Jepang lebih suka uh, work team work team daripada work group but work team ni dia daripada uh, pelbagai uh, jabatan yang lain daripada bidang kerja yang lain untuk menyelesaikan suatu masalah uh, tapi work group dia dalam kerja dia saja dalam kerja dia saja apa masalah itu saja amat kecil amat kecil jadi uh, jarang digabungkan jarang digabungkan dia mesti kita separatekan antara yang kecil tugas yang kecil dengan tugas yang besar ya yeah? baik prof terima kasih prof okay thank you all right The next question from Putri Desti Anawati. Please. Mbak Putri? Ya, Miss. Ya, silakan Mbak Putri. Okay, thank you Miss for your uh, I aku isi bertanya, saya isi bertanya. Eh Tadi kan di PPT dijelaskan bahwa kita harus memilih tim yang memiliki keahlian atau kompetensi yang baik agar menghasilkan tim yang optimal. Nah, bagaimana jika anggota tim itu dijodohkan oleh pimpinan dan memiliki pemikiran yang berbeda sehingga membuat perbedaan pendapat dan tidak ada yang mengalah? Terima kasih. Ah, ini ini satu selection lah, selection the The, the team members and selection of the uh, leaders of the team. Eh. The team mestilah uh, selari, eh, selari. Jangan memilih uh, keadaan yang begini ya, eh. keadaan begini di mana team members dengan uh, team leaders tidak sahaduan, tidak sahaduan. Nampak tidak sahaduan. Di jodohnya, jodohnya paksa, tidak, jadi tidak sahaduan. Mesti cari yang selari yang selari itu tadi kata tadi bila kita nak buat tim tubuhkan tim kita kena ada search team search team eh pasal courses committee komite yang menyelidik mencari siapakah yang menggotak tim itu dan siapakah leader yang sesuai dan siapakah anggota yang sesuai jadi dia ada beberapa ciri beberapa maklumat tentang kebolehan dia masalah dia eh jadi kita satukan dalam satu uh, pasukan, dalam satu tim. Jika uh, dibuat uh, ketuanya uh, yang berfikiran berbeza, ahli yang berbeza, sudah tentu uh, tim itu tidak akan mencapai uh, matlamat tim, matlamat tim. Dan uh, satu kerja pun tidak akan terhasil daripada uh, tim itu. Dia asyik uh, bertelaga bertelaga antara satu sama lain sebab perbezaan pendapat itu membuatkan pencapaian objektif itu tidak akan tercapai. Dia mesti ada titik pertemuan, kurangkan perbezaan, tapi cari persamaan, persamaan itu. Tapi nampaknya kalau berbeza banyak, jadi apa pun tak boleh kita nak nak sharing untuk dipersetujui untuk sharing untuk persetujui. jadi tidak akan menghasilkan apa itu productivity atau keputusan yang terbaik yang optimal. Jadi berbalik kepada pembentukan tim tadi mestilah berhati-hati. Ya. Putri. Thank you prof. Ya ya, sama-sama. Yeah. Okay, the next question from Dita Restuwi Diastuti. Silakan, Miss Dita. Thank you, Ma'am. Izin bertanya, Prof. Dalam suatu organisasi, kerjasama antar individu dalam suatu tim merupakan hal yang sangat penting. Nah, lalu bagaimana cara meningkatkan efektivitas sebuah tim dengan kepribadian anggota tim yang sudah terlanjur kurang kompatibel antara satu dengan yang lainnya? Terima kasih. Ini uh, jarang terjadi ya. Kalau ada komiti search komiti ya ini jarang terjadi tidak akan tidak akan terhasil apa itu apa yang dihajatkan ya kalau kerjasama di antara individu dalam satu tim itu tidak berlangsung dengan baik ya baik bukan saja effectiveness 
efficiency pun tidak dapat eh tidak dapat sebab dia mesti orang yang betul-betul compatible yang sesuai uh, dicari ya eh, dicari uh, untuk menggotai sesuatu tim satu tim tadi eh sebab tim tim ini kalau katalah kita kata uh, task force task force dia ada kemahiran-kemahiran sendiri dalam task force eh uh, pasukan itu tidak memilih orang yang kurang compatible dia mesti pilih orang yang compatible yang credible yang ada knowledge ya yeah? uh, kalau tidak dia akan tunggu lagi cari lagi cari lagi sehinggalah uh, tim dia betul-betul diyakini boleh uh, melaksanakan tugasan itu ya yeah? <coughs> okey dita thank you prof Alright. Yeah. yeah. The next question we have uh, Rofi Ah Maharani. Baik, terima, ah. baik okay. terima kasih Miss. Uh, saya izin bertanya Prof terkait komunikasi lintas budaya. Apa yang dapat kita lakukan untuk mengatasi atau meminimalisir masalah pekerjaan dalam komunikasi lintas budaya jika kita misalkan ditugaskan untuk bekerja sama dengan pekerja asing dalam suatu perusahaan? Terima kasih. Okey, biasanya uh, kalau kita ini biasanya expatriate, eh? expatriate, expatriate yang datang ke negara kita, uh, dia mesti belajar budaya kita, budaya uh, 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 kata lah di Indonesia, budaya Indonesia. Uh, dia kena tinggalkan, kurangkan budaya dia, budaya dia. Ya? Sebab budaya host country itu, uh, kalau di Indonesia expatriate itu mesti memahami apakah Uh, budaya kita sebenarnya uh, sebab apa latar belakang budaya akan menyebabkan uh, mempengaruhi tingkah lakunya tingkah lakunya uh, jadi uh, uh, pihak organisasi uh, katalah uh, multinational company uh, Jepang yang berada di Malaysia uh, dia masih di, 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 di berada di Indonesia dia kena memahami uh, expertise itu mesti dilatih tentang uh, budaya Indonesia budaya Indonesia. Tapi kalau kita pergi ke negara lain, negara Jepang misalnya, kita bekerja di sana. Kita kena tahu budaya Jepang itu macam mana. Ha, jadi kita tinggalkan budaya kita. Sebab kita mau bekerja di di host country itu, di host country itu ya. Eh. Jadi uh, masalah uh, dalam pekerjaan uh, cross cross culture ini akan akan uh, ter, ter, ter ter apa terhindarlah, tak ada masalah. Masalah akan akan diselesaikan. Ini biasanya dilakukan oleh uh, satu departemen kita panggil uh, International Human Resource Management, uh, pengurusan sumber sumber daya uh, antarabangsa. Uh, dia bila mengantar seseorang untuk ke negara orang lain, dia akan berikan khusus khusus tentang uh, budaya, uh, bahasa, agama, ke, tentang negara host countries yang dia host country yang dia kena berhijrah itu. Ah itu tugasan dia. kalau tidak nanti dia akan gagal. Gagal untuk melakukan pekerjaan untuk memberikan kerjasama untuk perform di dalam budaya yang mereka berada itu di host country itu. Ah ya. Itu masalahnya bukan masalah kita yang yang penduduk asal ini yang patutnya berubah mereka yang mendatang itu yang berubah. Jadi kalau kita pergi ke tempat orang, kita yang mendatang, kita kena berubah, kena memahami budaya dia. Ha, begitu. Eh? Ini Baik, terima mati. kasih Prof. Rufiah ni besok, Rufiah ni boleh kerja di negara orang lain. Ha, tapi mahap memahami budaya orang lain itu dulu. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two question. The last from Emma Rahmawati, please Emma Rahmawati and Mbak Riana ya, letter after Emma Riana. Emma, oke. Okay. Okay. Oh, baik Miss, terima kasih atas kesempatan. Louder Mbak, lebih keras ya. Oh, oke, okay. baik Miss, terima kasih atas kesempatannya. Uh, saya izin bertanya Prof, tadi terkait uh, di bagian tim proses and success, itu kan salah satunya ada mental model. Nah yang saya tanyakan, apa sih itu mental model dan seperti apa ya Prof contohnya? Terima kasih. Ya. Dalam uh, dalam tim uh, in tim uh, dia objektif is to uh, to perform well, to perform well uh, to do the uh, job 
eh, to do the job assigned to to the team eh, to the team so the mental uh, uh, mental model is the uh, they must have the uh, work hard and try to the perform as a good team eh, good team good team eh. everybody is the uh, equally uh, have 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 equally right equally right equally role into the uh, apa tu make sure the uh, team successful successful eh uh, that is the uh, good mental model eh so they have the uh, same objective eh same role eh? same right and they will uh, receive the same reward if uh the success in their in their in their team eh, in their team eh? uh, there is no differences there is no uh inequality in in the team and the team is is a good team a good task and uh good effort eh? that is that is uh their their good mental model good mental model eh? there is in uh equality in the uh, responsibility equality on the uh, reward uh, equality on the role uh, that is very important if they don't have the equality uh, they will play different role they will play different role eh? uh, they not give the fully support to their uh, group members eh? because of the team the success of team uh, that is belong to the team team effort eh? kalau dia tidak uh, bersungguh-sungguh tidak akan ada kejayaan kalau seseorang itu tidak tidak bersatu, tidak memberi sumbangan, dia akan gagal. Dia kena ada sinergi, kena ada cooperation, good cooperation. Okay? Emma, Emma Rahmawati, ini sama dengan dengan ni ha, Cusnu ni. <laughs> okay, the last question, Mbak Riana Mangayu, please, Mbak Riana. Uh, thanks for the time, Miss. Yeah. Uh, yang ingin saya tanyakan adalah baga uh, uh, bagaimana cara menyikapi atau bagaimana komunikasi komunikasi yang baik untuk menghadapi atasan langsung yang otoriter. Begitu, Prof. Terima kasih. Ya. Yeah. Ini memang soalan biasa ya. Kalau kita bawahan kita kena komunikasi baik dengan atasan. Tetapi uh, suasana sudah berubah ya, sudah berubah. Uh, sekarang ni atasan pun sudah ada kesedaran, sudah ada knowledge, sudah ada pengalaman. Uh, mereka mesti memberikan satu level yang sama di antara uh, atasan dan bawahan bila berkomunikasi. Bila ada satu gap, satu gap antara atasan dengan bawahan komunikasi, level yang tidak sama, itu yang menyebabkan kita ada masalah. Kita ada masalah. Tetapi apabila level itu diturunkan, diturunkan. Ini sama-sama main peranan lah. Maknanya orang bawahan pun kena main peranan psikologi. Bagaimana untuk menurunkan level orang-orang orang atasan tu yang ada authority itu tu ke bawah dan Orang yang ada authority pun cuba naikkan level orang di bawahnya untuk sama sama level dengan dia. Jadi bila kita berkomunikasi sama level, kita punya hak yang sama, kita mempunyai perspektif yang sama. Ya, tetapi bila uh, yang atas menganggap yang bawah ini tidak berapa sesuai berkomunikasi dengan dia, situ ada gap, ada gap. Jadi komunikasi ini biasanya complement each other. Uh, saling bantu membantu. Uh, jadi dua-dua pihak kenalah uh, ada satu kedudukan level yang sama. Level yang sama. Misalnya di dalam kuliah lah, di dalam kuliah uh, profesor uh, levelnya tinggi, uh, pelajar levelnya bawah. Jadi pensyarah profesor ini mestilah turun ke bawah sama-sama dengan pelajar, naik sama-sama dengan pelajar. Barulah komunikasinya akan tinggi. Kalau tidak sampai kapan pun yang Pelajar ini akan dianggap uh, budak tak faham, budak uh, tak tak mengerti apa semua kan. Jadi dianggap sama levelnya. 
Masa saya mengajar kira-kira uh, 30 tahun ilmu matematika, saya turun ke bawah sama-sama dengan pelajar saya. Ha? Dari daripada pelajar itu bodoh kali sampai dia betul-betul bijaksana. Dari bawah ke atas. Eh? Jangan kita kita uh, atas benda nak mengajar orang bawah tidak jadi. Dia sama-sama. Buat sama-sama. Uh, ini satu uh, transformasi di dalam leadership. Kita panggil transformational leadership. Transformational leadership. Ataupun satu lagi kita panggil human relation orientation. Uh, leadership. Di mana mereka uh, mengutamakan hasil daripada uh, tingkat perhubungan itu. Hasilnya lebih penting daripada darjat. Uh, itu yang penting. Ya. Dengan bimbanglah. Biasanya orang bawahan saja merasa sensitif atau rasa rendah diri. Ya. Inferiority complex dengan orang atasan. Orang atasan biasanya dia akan lebih fleksibel. Dia akan boleh berubah. Dia akan berubah. Ya. Uh, kalau tak ada orang bawahan, tak ada orang atasan. Jadi performan orang bawahan, semua performan orang bawahan akan jadi performan kepada orang atasan. Jadi orang atasan kena jaga orang bawah. Jadi tidak ada masalah jurang tingkat itu tidak ada masalah. Dari segi atas kertas ada masalah, dari segi hubungan biasa. Jadi ketua ini mesti motivate berhubung dengan kaki tangan bawahan. Okay? Riana besok boleh lakukan begitu bila jadi manager. Ha? Ya. Okey. Ya, terima kasih, Mas. Okey. Okey. Miss Jusno. Yes, that's all the question not today. We have more than 10 10 questions. <laughs> that's really good. Thank you very much Prof Datona Sir for accompany us uh, to give the material about okay, teamwork nanti, and nanti communication. Saya kirimkan uh, uh, apa ini slide slide nya saya kirim. Yes yes. Ah, tapi okay. uh, bagi saya email ya. Ya yeah, oke okay, saya akan kirim email okay. melalui WhatsApp letter. Oke. Okay. Terima kasih Prof Datona. Ya jaga diri. See you next week with next different week. topic. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, okay, for student. Bye-bye. Don't forget to fill the Thank form. You, of Thank you, bro. Thank you, Dato. Thank you, Miss. Ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, teman-teman. Jangan lupa ya. Uh, isi dulu link presensinya. Jangan lupa screenshot nanti untuk bukti kehadiran kalian dan juga untuk resume besok UTS ya. Uh, untuk penjelasan resume UTS-nya akan saya berikan setelah semua uh, materi dari Prof. Datuk sudah selesai ya. Nanti di uh, meeting dengan Prof. Datuk yang ke-8 saat ini kita sudah ke meeting yang ke-6. Oke, okay, langsung saja cus. Jangan lupa sekali lagi fill your form presentation. We will meet again next week yeah with different topic of course see you dada goodbye i love you and take care bye bye students thank you miss thank you miss thank you miss bye bye yeah you miss bye bye bye